Namaste everyone. Namaste. I'm Wendy and this is Scarlett <laughs> and we're here today to show you a short family yoga sequence, a little bit of partner work today. So as with all yoga we have three really important rules. Scarlett can you remember what they are? What's number one? One, keep smiling. Always smile. Two, uh, Two, breathe. Three, don't hurt yourself and don't do stuff that you think that's going to hurt, hurt you. That's correct. <laughs> Always listen to what your body is telling you. So we're going to start with our song. So bring your hands together and it's call and response. So we'll sing a line and then you can sing a line back. Are you ready? Yes, we are. <laughs> Namaste. <laughs> Shall we play? Namaste. Shall we play? In our special yoga way. Your turn. In our special yoga way. Bending bodies, being strong. Your turn. Bending bodies, being strong, keeping healthy all life long. Look. Keeping healthy all life long. Lovely. Now give yourselves a big hug. Lift your elbows up to the side. Sky, see how far you can reach your fingers around behind you. Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, see if your elbows can give your left knee a kiss. And then breathe in, lift your elbows up to the sky and draw a rainbow. See if your elbows can give your right knee a kiss. And then breathe in, lift your elbows up as high as they can. Take a deep breath in and open your arms and then a big yawn out. Oh, you make yourself yawn. Oh. Lovely. Ugh. Stretching your fingers to the floor, lifting your head up to the sky. And then we're going to turn around today and we're going to turn back to back with our partner. Sit. So we're going to sit back to back, nice and tall, cross legs, legs can be out in front, whatever feels comfortable. As long as your back can be nice and straight, you can sit up really, really tall. Let your hands rest in your lap. Now Scarlett, you can let your head rest against my back if you want. Nice tall backs and we're going to do some breathing exercises. So pressing our backs against each other gently, we're going to just start to breathe really slowly but really deeply. Imagining that there's a balloon in the middle of our body. So when we breathe in we blow up that balloon and the whole of our body inflates and gets bigger. And when we breathe out that balloon gets a bit smaller and goes down. And you can each breathe at different times, breath at different paces. And I want you to see if you can feel your partner breathing. Can you feel me breathing, Scarlett? Mm -hmm. I can feel you breathing. Now we're just going to stay here breathing slowly and deeply, just for a few more rounds. You can rest your head against me. Brilliant. Well done, everyone. And we're going to reach our hands out to the sides. We're going to hold on to each other's fingers. <laughs> Give them a squeeze. Say hello, partner. Hello, partner. <laughs> and we're going to do some rocking and some rolling. So we're going to go one way and lift the arms up. And then we're going to go the other way. So we're keeping our backs in contact with each other. And keep now, your bum on the floor. Keep your bum on the floor, that's right. So grown-ups, your arms will have to be bent. But you can stretch out children. You can see how long you can make your arms. Unless your arms are longer than your grown-ups. Brilliant. Let's do one more each way. Stretch, stretch, rocking like we're in a rocking boat. And then coming back up to the middle. And then we're going to interlace our arms with each other. So can you interlace your arms with your partner? <laughs> Squeeze your elbows, sitting up nice and tall. And we're going to do some forwards and backwards rocking. So Scarlett, press your back up against my back. Lovely. So I'm going to go forwards first. And Scarlett's just going to relax onto me. Lovely. 
squeezing her shoulder blades. And we're going to breathe in together, come up to the middle. And very, very gently, I'm going to lean back on Scarlett. Lovely, lean back. You always need to check that your partner's okay. That's right. Are you okay, Scarlett? Yes, I am. Lovely. We'll do one more each. I'm going to go forwards. Oh, that's a lovely, good stretch. Thank you, Scarlett. And then back one more time. Nice and slow, there's no need to rush it. And coming back up to the middle. And shuffle. <laughs> and we're gonna let go of each other's arms. Oh, we're gonna bum shuffle. We're not gonna use hands, no cheating. You're not allowed to use your hands. You've got to bum shuffle around and have a race. See who can get to turn around and face each yeah. other. Oh, you won Scarlet <laughs> one today. She's good at this. And we're gonna sit opposite each other now with our knees touching, nice and close, facing each other with nice tall spines. <laughs> and we're going to wave at each other with our right hands. And we're going to take our left hand and put our left hand around behind our back. Then our right hand is going to reach across to find the left hand. Brilliant. So it's like you're tying yourselves up in a it's knot. It's like an eight. It's like a figure of eight. <laughs> and then you can gently pull on each other's arms to turn to look over your shoulder in opposite directions. That's amazing. Well done, everyone. Now don't forget those three rules that Scarlett told us at the beginning. One, keep smiling. Two, breathe. And three, don't listen have... to your body. That's, body. That's right. Nice deep breathing. <laughs> and then come back to the middle and give your arms a shake, shake out. Shake, 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 shake. shake, shake. And your shoulders, shake, 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 shake. Mm -hmm. This time give, you, give each other a wave with your left hand. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and then the right hand comes around behind you. And you reach your left hand across. Oh. <laughs> nice. Wait, oh. That's it. And then we're going to twist to look over our right shoulder. Sitting up nice and tall. Remember, that's it, Scarlett. Imagine that the string is on the top of your head, reaching your head upright. And you're still breathing. Can I see your tummy moving in and out? Lovely breathing. Breathe at your own pace. <laughs> And then relax. Come back to the middle and give yourself a shake, 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 shake. And we're going to do one little bit of mirror work here. It's so really fun. It's really fun. <laughs> so we're going to hold our hands up and stretch your fingers out. Can you all stretch your fingers out really, really wide? Brilliant. And then we're going to face our partner and our hands aren't touching. There's a space between our hands, but they're really, really close. And Scarlett is going to very, very slowly move her hands around and I'm going to follow them. Slow movement. Now, I don't know about you, Scarlett, but I can feel I can. a little bit of tingling, particularly in my right hand and your left hand. I can feel them in both. Can you? Mm -hmm. So we're sharing each other's energy. We're not touching, but we're... Showing that we've got energy around us. Brilliant. She's trying to catch me out here. So this is a fun game to play. You play this one with your brothers and sisters as well. Excellent. <laughs> well done. And then bring all that energy from your partner together. Gather it up and bring it together in your Light hands. Mine. And then put that energy into your chest. And just give it a gentle pat. It's going to fill up in a your really, heart. A really, really gentle pat. Filling up your heart with your partner's energy. <laughs> Can you feel your heart filling up with my energy? <laughs> Lovely. Now we're going to come over onto all fours. So can we all roll over onto all fours on our mats? Yeah! Facing the front. Lovely. So on all fours, it's really important not to be too narrow. So we don't want our hands here. We want our hands... Can you just move a sec, Scarlett? We want our hands underneath our shoulders and our knees under our hips. So we've got a nice wide base of support. So we can't wobble. We're not going to fall over. What? <laughs> right. So coming back to all fours, we're going to do some cat cows. Now, cat cows... They're really funny. We're going to make some noises with them today, just because it's going to be a fun class today. So we're going to start breathing in and letting your belly dip and let your bottom lift up into the air. And as we breathe in, we can make a moo sound. And as we breathe out, we can be an angry cat and go <laughs> Breathe in. Breathe out. 
One more time, breathe in. Mm. Mm. Suck the air in with your mm. Mm. Breathe out. Angry cat. Lovely. And we come back to the middle. And grown ups, so we're going to do this. So, grown ups, you're all going to go stay on all fours. Children, you're going to go around behind your grown up and you're going to sit just on the edge of their bottom and then lie back. You can shuffle on a little bit more if you like, Scarlett. Good job. <laughs> nice. And make sure that they're nice and balanced. And you can drop your hands. And let your hands relax. Ugh. And then grown ups, you're going to do your cat cows. You go slower. You're forced to go slower because you don't want to throw your little person off. <laughs> Can't really see with my jumper, but my back is arching and rounding. Well, you can see because I'm moving up That's and down. Right. Does it feel nice, Scarlett? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. My <Well> favourite. <laughs> and then we're going to stop. You can stay and do this for as long as you like, but we're going to stop and move on to the next yeah, exercise now. So, Scarlett, you can climb off now Whoop, and give her a little, little kick off. Launch. <laughs> launch off. And then come back to your all fours. So, we're going to do some balancing now. So with your hands under your shoulders and your knees under your hips, you're looking down at your mat. So you're not hurting your left neck and looking forwards. We're going to lift our right leg up into the air behind us. Point your toes out behind you. Lovely. Once you feel balanced, we're going to be superheroes and go for a fly. So we're going to lift our left arm forwards. You can make a fist. Imagine you're flying like a superhero <laughs> through the sky. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Balance. You could look at drishti, which was a spot of your thought. That's right, Scarlet. Scarlet is all about drishtis. Drishtis. And then we're going to swap and we're going to do the other side. So, can you, if you need a shake, if you need to shake your wrist, shake, 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 shake. shake. Like water's coming off. That's right. And then we're going to take the left leg out behind us now. Left leg's out behind you. Tummy muscles are strong. And then the right arm lifts forwards. Right. Yeah. Yes. A superhero looking down at the floor. Imagine oh. you're flying over over Exeter. You can give people a wave as you fly over them. Higher! Down on the floor, Scarlet. <laughs> <laughs> They're down below. And then bring your hands back down. I think you've all got brilliant balance, so I think we can I think we can move on to the next exercise. Shall we have a go at a bit of partner work? My right. favourite. So we're gonna come. To all fours, grown ups. Nice, strong all fours. So I'm going to take my jumper off so you can see. I'm sorry, Scarlett. That's okay. <laughs> so you can see the position. So I'm not dipping, I'm not rounding, I'm just a nice flat back, even weight distribution. We're going to knees under hips, wrists under shoulders. Scarlett is going to very carefully. No, 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 no. Climb onto my back and kneel on my back oh. in the same position. So she's climbing up. That's it. So her knees are going to be a little bit lower down than that. So her knees on my bottom a little bit. More. <laughs> Brilliant. So we're both in our all four position. Now, grown ups, you can stay here. That's Tummy muscles are strong. <laughs> if you're feeling brave, Scarlett, stay still for a moment. Grown ups, you can take your right leg out behind you. If you're feeling good, Left arm. Woo! She's down! <laughs> Shall we try the other side? Yes. So, Scarlett, shuffle your knees back a little bit. Oh, yeah. That's your it. Bottom. On my bottom. Now, let's try the left leg. And the right arm. Lovely. Scarlett, if you want to, you can take your left leg out behind you. And maybe your That's right the same hand. leg. Yeah, and maybe your right hand. Opposite hand to opposite. Um, yeah. Amazing group balance. Ah! And let's bring it down. Woo! Now Scarlett is robust and she's messing about. But if you have a smaller person, no, I'm not. And lots of things around. Maybe use another grown up or someone a little bit bigger to be a spotter to catch them if they fall. So coming back to your mat. Now after all that hard work in my tummy, I need a rest. 
So we're gonna do a child's pose. So we're gonna do it this way to demonstrate. The child's pose, mums and dads and grown-ups, bottom on the heels, reaching forward, forehead to the floor, reach your arms forwards for a nice stretch. And then Scarlet, I'm gonna be a rock, and Scarlet's gonna be a lizard, and rest on the rock. She's sitting down on my bottom and she's gonna lie back and her arms flop. It's like the cat cow, you can relax your arms. You can relax your arms. But and again, <laughs> again, it's really important to breathe. So just like the exercise we did at the beginning of the class, see if you can feel each other breathing. Then mum and dad slowly lift your head, bring your hands back in, and you can guide your little person off. <laughs> Don't launch them off. Now, if your child wants to have a go at that, you can. They can be the rock, and grown-ups, you can be the lizard. So Scarlet, you're going to come and be my rock for me. <laughs> That's it. Two simple ways to do this one. Grown-ups, you can place your hands, flat hands, on the sacrum, which is the flat bone at the bottom of your spine. And just press down and talk to your child. Is that all right, Scarlett? Yeah. Do you want more pressing? Uh, no, no. If you want to, you can put one hand on the lower back and one hand on the top back and kind of push them apart a little bit That's to stretch That's very them. nice. That's very nice, good. And then if they're happy with you to do, so Scarlett's really little, so I'm gonna go careful. I'm going to turn around. I'm not going to sit on her bottom because I'll squish her. But we can sit really close to her toes and I can lie back. And I get a nice little back bend out of this as well. As a grown up, my knees are bent and I can rest back. Does that feel okay? Mm -hmm. And I'm in a back bend. I'm not plonking all my weight on her. I'm having to engage through my pelvic floor. Grown ups, if you practice yoga, you know it's important to engage with Mula Bandha. And then when you're ready, you lift it up. <sighs> Brilliant, well done. So we haven't done any standing up yet. Shall we stand up? I think so. <laughs> She's a presenter in the making. So we're going to go into down dog to stand up. Oh. <laughs> so from all four positions, hands to the floor, spread your fingers out. How wide can you get your fingers on the mat? That's good. Tuck your toes under. Tuck your toes under and lift your bottom up into the air and look at your feet, look at your own feet. And then see if you can slowly go for a walk on the spot. Nice, your knees can swish. Brilliant, well done Scarlett. And we're stretching out the backs of our legs, walking on the spot, wiggling our hips, pressing into our hands. See if you can get your hands flat to the floor. Can you flatten out this hand Scarlett? Good. Now, Ease off when you're walking, lift your bottom high, look between your hands. And remember, this is the bit we've got to be quiet. Quiet. Because we don't want anyone chasing us. So we bend our knees, we look forward, and we quietly jump. Without making a sound. <laughs> and then we lift our bottom into the air and we fold over our legs. And can you nod your head and say, yes, 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 <laughs> And can you shake your head and say, no, 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 no. And then we slowly start to curl up to stand and we can sway a bit like a zombie. Oh. Swaying from side to side. Let your arms sway, swish, no, don't <laughs> knock each other out. <laughs> swishing, lifting up and you can keep your arms swishing and swish them. We're happy zombies, happy zombies. Happy. And now we're windmills and we're going to swish, 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 swish. You might even hit your back. <laughs> and then bring your hands together. We're going to learn our warrior poses. So there are three main warrior poses. Three. So, Scarlett, what does, what's warrior in Sanskrit? Warrior, fear, 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 It's hard to say. So we've got three warriors. So we're going to start. We're going to take a big step back with one of our legs 
and bend our front knee. And we're going to lift our arms up and try and reach the sunshine. Stretch into your fingers. Virabhadrasana one. Can you say that? Virabhadrasana one. Now we're going to open our arms out to the side. We've got laser beams in our fingers. And we're going to shoot our arms out. Virabhadrasana two. Can you say it? Virabhadrasana two. Well done, so it looks, if you can't see me, it looks like this. Yes. Lovely. Now, Virabhadrasana one again. Reach up, grab the sunshine. Bend your front knee. Virabhadrasana three is your superhero pose again. So we balance on one leg, we reach our arms forwards. You can make fists and fly again. Lovely balancing, Scarlet. Let's practice. Virabhadrasana one. Yeah. Here we go. Very dress in a three. Three. Very good dress in a two. Very good dress in a three. Three. Let's swap legs and try on the other side. Very good dress in a two. Two. Very good dress in a one. One. Very good dress in a three. Very good dress in a one. One. Very good dress in a two. These beans. Very good dress in a one, sunshine. Sunshine. Very good dress in a three, superhero. Superhero. Amazing. Bring your legs back together. Give everything a shake. Shake, shake, shake. Check it all out. Amazing, brilliant. You're all awesome at this. So we're going to make our way back down to the floor. Bring your feet together and give your toes a wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> toes together, toes wiggling. Now, can you all just put your big toes down for me? Just your big toes. Up. Can you lift your big toes up and can you all just put your little toes down? Now, can you lift all your toes up and put your big toes and your little toes, but none of the others, so not the three middle ones. It's harder than it looks and your fingers start doing strange things as well, <laughs> don't they? No cheating and using <laughs> your hands. And then lift all of your toes up and see if you can spread them out on your mat. Breathe in, reach up, grab hold of that sunshine in the sky. And as you breathe out, reach forward, plant the sunshine, give the ground a tap. Breathe in, look forwards. Breathe out, bend your knees, put your hands down, and we're going to jump back to a plank posture. Chaturanga. Chaturanga. And let's see if we can quietly and slowly lower all the way down to the floor. Lovely slithering. Breathe in. Cobra, have a wiggle like a snake. Nice. And then come up to all fours and walk your hands back to a kneeling position. We're going to scoot forward just a little bit. Mums and dads and grown ups, toes together, knees apart. Now, if it hurts to kneel, you can sit on your bottom, you can sit on a chair if you want to, or a cushion, as long as you're little person or little person can come and kneel or sit in front of you. Bring in a kneel. <laughs> so sitting up nice and tall. Grown-ups, if you're kneeling, the tendency is for your bottom to want to stick out behind you. So make sure your bottom is tucking under, your tummy muscles are strong. We're going to do a little bit of partner massage. You okay with that, Scarlett? Brilliant. So we start off with raindrops in our fingers. Children, you can close your eyes if you want to. And just imagine that the rain is falling. It's warm spring rain. And it's just falling and sprinkling all over the top of your head. And growing up, you just sprinkle that rain gently over the whole of their scalp, covering every little bit of their scalp. And then down their neck and down their shoulders. And you can tap a little bit firmer on the shoulders. And then really gently, you can let your hands rest on their shoulders and start to just do a little bit of squeezy massage with your fingers on the front and your thumb on the back. And you can ask them, does that feel okay? If they want more or if they want less squeezing, they'll tell you. Just be gentle with them though, don't go too hard. They don't need any deep tissue massage at this age. And then you can gently start to squeeze and release. Down the arms, hold for a couple of seconds and release, move down a bit. Squeeze and hold. 
and release. Squeeze and hold and release. Make sure you skip over the elbow joint so you're not squeezing the elbow joint. Squeezing all the way down. And when you get to the hands, you reach around and you can massage out the palms of their hands with your thumbs. And then squeeze down each finger to the very tip of the finger. Somebody feels very relaxed. <laughs> and then we place our hands firmly back on the top of their head, not pressing down too hard. We don't <laughs> want to squish them because they've grown pretty tall today. And we're going to do a firm stroke down their head and down their arms. And then we go back and we do it a little bit lighter this time. And this time we don't put our hands on their head. We hover our hands over their head, just like when we did the touching hands at the beginning. And we slowly... Mm. Move our hands just down the outside of their body without touching, and then give your hands a shake. <laughs> Lovely. Move over onto your bottom. <laughs> Stay here. <laughs> <laughs> you can come onto your bottom. And Scarlett, bring your legs to knees up, feet, feet together and knees apart. Grown ups, you bring your knees on the outside there so they can rest their knees in yours. So it's not putting too much strain on their hips, but you're getting a nice hip opener. Now, if you want to, grown ups, you can put a cushion or a bolster um, behind <laughs> you, or oh, yeah, you no. can lie straight back. Let's go sideways, Scarlett, so everyone can see us. Let's see if we can <laughs> do this. Or you can lie straight back, and Scarlett's going to lie oh. back on me and relax. You can keep your hands on their shoulders or the tops of their heads. You can give their forehead a little bit of a smooth. Um, or you can just rest your arms and both of you can relax, letting go, feeling safe together, feeling completely connected to each other and knowing that yeah you can do things on your own, you're more than capable of achieving things on your own. But working together, you can achieve so much more, and it's so much more enjoyable. So as we lie here now, imagine a warm sun warming the whole of your chest, the whole of your belly. Feel your arms and your legs getting warmer. Feel your face getting warmer. Enjoying the feeling of the sun shining down on you. Knowing that you are completely safe with your grown up. And then when you're ready to, you can slowly start to wiggle fingers and toes and grown ups, you can give your little one a little bit of a squeeze, wake them up a little bit if they've gone to sleep. And then when you, or children, if your grown ups have gone to sleep, give them a bit of a squeeze. And when you're ready to, you can start to stretch out a little bit. You can take your legs wide, both of you, stretch your arms above your head. Or you don't have to wake them up. <laughs> you can leave them asleep. And do what you want. <laughs> and then when you're ready to, you guide yourselves up to a comfy seated position. Coming back onto your own space. Sitting with your legs crossed. If that feels comfortable or out in front of you or any way that is comfortable for you. Bring your hands together and let's see if we can remember that deep breathing. But this time we haven't got a partner to remind us to breathe deeply. Can you remember how to do that deep breathing on your own? Can you remember how to breathe nice and deeply on your own? Feeling when you breathe in, you're blowing up a balloon and the whole of your body is expanding and getting bigger. Bigger. <laughs> and when you breathe out, everything's relaxing. Breathing in, expanding. Breathing out, relax. 
And we'll finish the practice today with our final song. And I've said it before in our last video, I do apologise for my singing. I'm not the world's best singer. But <laughs> it's okay. It comes from the heart. You ready? So it, you can repeat. We'll do it first and you repeat. <laughs> okay. Ready? May the long time sun shine upon you. Your turn. May the long time sun shine upon you. All love surround you. Your turn. All love surround you. And the pure light within you. Your turn. And the pure light within you. Guide your way home. Your turn. Guide your way home. <laughs> Thank you so much for practicing with Scarlett and I today. Have a lovely day. Namaste. Namaste.